Well, stepping away from political uh, politicians acting like comic book villains and turning to those who are actually trying to show some integrity during this crisis, a group of black leaders is making its case with the White House. Earlier today, leaders from prominent civil rights and social justice organizations issued a letter to the Biden administration expressing their grave concerns over the treatment of Haitian migrants at the border. Now, in the letter, they say, quote, we urge you to stop the deportations and immediately grant humanitarian parole to the thousands of black asylum seekers and process their asylum claims without further delay. On that note, I'm joined by someone from one of those leading organizations behind that letter. Abraham Paulos is the deputy director of Black Alliance for Just Immigration. Abraham, thank you so much for being with us here on Black News Tonight. Thank you so much for having me. Now, your organization, Black Alliance for Just Immigration, took the lead in putting this letter together. So who are some of the other groups who came together with you on this? And how has the White House responded so far? Um, so some of the other leaders on this are Judith Brown with the Advancement Project. We also have Carl Lipscomb with the Brooklyn Community Bail Fund, Center for Constitutional Rights, um, Vince Warren. And I think that they have been um, heeding the call, right? Um, there was a press conference today led by Yvette Clark, right? Um, and Barbara Lee was there. So it looks like we're all getting onto the same page that we need to stop the deportations and apply the actual domestic and international law, right, that covers asylum seekers, let them into the country and treat them as what they are, which is asylum seekers. Okay, so what mediation or immediate actions at this point do you hope the Biden administration will take regarding this crisis? The immediate action is to stop the plans. Stop putting Haitians who are asylum seekers um, on these planes and deporting them back to Haiti, which has, you know, experienced political instability since the assassination of their president, also a natural disaster by the earthquake, right? And this is a situation in which, by putting them on the plane, they are in direct violation of international law, which is the law of now refoulement. And what that says is that it forbids a country, right, from sending asylum seekers back to the country that they had fleed from. And so we're asking, uh, you know, the Biden administration to just do the basics and basically uh, keep Haitian migrants here in the U.S. Okay, but why is the Biden administration still following the Trump era policy in the first place and denying these people the right to seek asylum? Because the U.S. always acts like, oh, we want to help Haiti. They've been through so much. And then this happens. That's a good question. That's a question for the Biden administration. I mean, I think that the way that we're looking at it, particularly throughout Biden's political career, we know that he has done some anti-black activity, particularly with the 1993 crime bill, uh, the super predator issue that happened in the 90s. And so for us, Biden has been very consistent, right? And, and we are amazed, not surprised, by how consistently anti-black that he's been. And just as recent as February, when you look at the deportations that happened during Black History Month. So that's a great question. Um, and we're looking for an answer to that question. Well, can you tell us a little bit more about the latest from the border? Like who is still being deported? Who is actually making it into this country? And what's going on with their immigration process? So that's a really good question. I mean, a lot is happening and things are ongoing right now. What I do want your readers to also understand is that there is a historical context to this, right? Haitians and black immigrants, right, from Africa and from other parts of South America have really been sort of using the route through Central America and getting to the Mexican border since about 2015, 2016, when Europe essentially closed its borders to uh, asylum seekers. And now that this route, right, through southern Mexico up to the border has been utilized by asylum seekers, particularly black asylum seekers, um, and they have been going through racist, basically beatings and justices all throughout Central America and into Mexico, right? And so this situation isn't new. Right. It has just been what's new about it has been the Biden administration, one, being new. We knew how Trump and his boys get busy. Right. They were very open about that. But I think what is shocking to the system is that you have a president that basically got to the White House because of black people. Right. Mm -hmm. And has done the least for black people uh, since he's been in power.
Well, personally, how does it make you feel that they ran on the platform that they're going to help fix the immigration problem, and then we see issues like this, and they just keep saying, well, we're going to have to do more research. We're looking into it. It doesn't take much to look into these videos that we're seeing. The proof is right there. What else do they need to see? I mean, that's a great question. What more do they need to see? And again, we're looking at uh, uh, an administration, right? When we look at the Democrats, the last time that immigration law was passed here in this country, and that is still the law of the land, was in the 90s, in the 1996 laws, as, they're, as, as they are known by, right? And so I just sort of think that immigration in this country, right, particularly with elected officials, have used it as political football, right, to you know, they, they campaign in poetry, but they govern in prose, right? And in the immigration context, it's no government at all. And so I just think that moving forward, uh, we really need our elected officials. And, 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 you know, I'm gracious that the Congressional Black Caucus, you know, has pulled up for black people um, and also for black people that are down at the, at the Mexican border. And so I think Moving forward, we need a rights-based ap approach to immigration, and right now, the Democrats are just completely addicted Well, let me ask you that, Abraham, before you go on. You, you know, you said that the right thing, but, you know, your organization is about just immigration. What does that look like? Because some people will say, well, we don't have any choice. They're coming in droves. We didn't know how to control so many people coming in. What does just immigration look like in a situation like this? That, now, that's a great question. I mean, the... the they're coming in droves. The Italians and the Irish also came in droves. So that's nothing new right there, right? And so I think when we're really talking about black and brown people that are coming, we're, we're in the 80th percentile. This isn't a situation where they're alarmed and we're, we're going through something new. Going back to your question about what is just, one is not wrapping immigration legislation around the carceral state in the United States. 76% of black immigrants get deported because of contact with the police. So what we're saying is that just as they are criminal justice reform, right, but there also needs to be reform in the immigration system that steps away from wrapping up immigration and enforcement and the criminal legal system in the U.S. So we could start there. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think moving forward is also to treat people with humanity and dignity, right? right. We're Respect, all going yeah. like, to a better, better life. All right. Treat those how you would like to be treated. It's very simple. All right, Abraham, thank you so much for your informative comments on this. And be sure to join the conversation. We want to hear from you. So head over to our BNC Instagram and Twitter pages to let us know how you feel. Also, visit our website, bnc.tv, and subscribe to our YouTube page to check out clips from the show.